Two cargo vessels from Denmark and Norway are docked in Cyprus in preparation to sail for Syria to assist with the removal of the country's chemical weapons. Under an international deal, Syria is to relinquish control of deadly toxins which can be used to make lethal agents. Albania has rejected a U.S. request to host the destruction of the chemicals, but Croatia said that it would consider providing one of its ports for their transfer as long as there was no public opposition. Maritime Affairs and Transportation Minister Sinisha Haidesh Doncic said the transfer of the toxins was completely safe. Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic commented today on his upcoming trip to Azerbaijan, where he is planning to discuss potential investment with the country's leadership. Croatia is particularly interested in a pipeline that would deliver natural gas from the Caspian Sea to the European market via a southern route. The Shah Deniz II consortium is likely to make a financial investment decision on the Trans-Adriatic Pipeline this month. The multi-billion euro project would provide Croatia with increased energy security, but also potentially profit. Milanovic also denied today he was considering a cabinet reshuffle. Serbia is planning to retry the Ovčara case, the most serious war crime committed by Serb-led forces on Croatian territory during the Homeland War. Serbia's constitutional court has ordered a retrial after hearing an appeal by one of the defendants in the case who was sentenced to 20 years in prison, the Belgrade newspaper Politica reports. The case has been thrown out because a member of the trial chamber took part in both the original trial and the appeals process. Four others convicted in the case have filed appeals on the same grounds. The Požega-based sweets producer Zvechevo has invested more than 5 million euros into a new state-of-the-art chocolate production line. The company has also struck a deal with Tesco to produce chocolate bars for the UK supermarket giant. The expansion has opened up 50 new jobs at Zvechevo. The town of Knin is hosting an Advent Fair featuring traditional arts and crafts. The amateur craft makers, small business owners and farmers taking part in the fair have also collaborated on a local development strategy. They say it is significant because it was drafted from the bottom up, meaning that locals have contributed their ideas about what they can produce and what products they believe have strong market potential. In sports, Austria's Mario Matt is in first place after the first run of the men's World Cup slalom in Val d'Isère. Italy's Patrick Taller is in second position, while Frenchman Jean-Baptiste Grange is in third. Austria's Marcel Hirsch, the race favorite, missed a gate and did not qualify for the second run. Croatia's Ivica Kostelic, who was suffering from a back injury, decided to compete just hours before the race. He is in 20th place, 1 second and 79 one hundredths behind the leader. Teammate Dalibor Shamshal finished 19th, just 1 one hundredths of a second in front of Kostelic. This afternoon's forecast calls for partly sunny skies, especially on the Adriatic, but also in some sections of the interior, particularly in the higher elevations. Light breezes inland on the coast arising northeasterly, reaching storm force speeds by evening. Temperature highs in the interior will range from 0 in Slavonia to 5 degrees in the mountains and from 11 to 16 degrees on the Adriatic.